of dating multiple women at once, being married before. What are your thoughts on legalizing um, polygamy? Legalizing polygamy? I don't know it's legal. It's illegal. You can't get married. Nayo wants the government to butt out of his love life. He's all for letting polygamists tie the knot with multiple partners, and he made that pretty clear while chilling with his two partners at the Grove in LA. He's like, adults should totally be free to do their thing in their love lives without the government poking around. He's not about to head to Washington DC to push for any legal changes though. It's not messing with his life right now, and he's not even sure if he wants to marry multiple. So asked why he doesn't sing about dating multiple women, and his reply was that he writes about his own experiences, and this is his first time in a relationship with two women. Nayo hanging out with two partners isn't something new. Remember last summer in Miami? He was spotted holding hands with two women right after his divorce from his ex-wife, Crystal Renee. Turns out, his infidelity played a part in their split, and it looks like being with two women might be a better fit for him than just one. So, no wedding bells ringing for Nayo anytime soon, both legally and by his own choice. But guess who's back to hunt Nayo? That's right, his ex is back in town. Nayo's in hot water with some pretty intense accusations from his ex, Sada Bagnariz, about physical assault and not being there for their kids. In an Instagram live video from Wednesday, Saad films Nayo at his place. Yeah, so I'm broke broke and I'm trying to eat better food. So I got a meal kit to see if I could actually save some money on food. And, and accuses him of body slamming her. She even claims he had drugs and hookers around while their two boys were there. While Nayo's gaming and their kids are asleep in the background, Saad throws shade, calling him out. Tell them about your wild party, Diddy Jr. She goes on to say, he's calling the cops, y'all. You know what you did? You slammed me to the floor. Nayo's like, really? That's what happened? Tell him about the freak off, Diddy Jr. Diddy Jr., tell him about the freak off. He calling the police, y'all. He calling, no, I don't give a, listen. No, you know what you did. Your body slammed me on the floor. Come on, police, police. Tell them the real you. Tell them the real you. Tell them, tell them the real you. Tell them the real you and why we're here today. Tell them why we're here today. Tell, shut the boy. Refuse to remove me. Why? 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 Because the commotion. How did the commotion start? What did we talk about? What did I ask of you? All of that is irrelevant. Shit and, and get okay, so you calling the police like a like, like a y'all? Guess what? Over what? Over what? Cause he want holes over the house while his kids is here. Why you likes to have holes, drugs, and and weed, alcohol, mushrooms, and prostitutes in the house while his kids are here? Everyone has asked him to stop, but he will not listen to nobody. This is what's going on. This is the tea. While the bitch is in the house, I asked him not to bring the in the house. I even came over here to help him with these kids because he won't want to. He won't watch these kids. Tell him about the freak off, Diddy Junior. Diddy Junior, tell him about the freak off. Tell him about the freak off. Tell them the truth. Nayo tried to explain his side, saying he was just trying to get her to leave because she was causing a scene arguing, and Said blasts him for wanting to party at home with hoes, drugs, weed, alcohol, mushrooms, and hookers. She says everyone's told him to cut it out, but he won't listen to anyone. Said adds that she was just trying to help him look after their kids, because he won't watch them. If you ain't know, Nayo and Seda Bagnariz have been through some serious ups and downs. Just last year, they were all tangled up in a nasty legal fight over their two kids, with Nayo initially doubting he was the dad to both of them. Said was pushing for primary custody and some steady child support cash suggesting Nayo could visit the kids every other weekend. Nayo admitted the oldest kid was his, but wanted a DNA test to see if he was also the father of the youngest. When the results came in around September turns out, he's the dad to both. His relationship history is a bit wild too. He and his ex-wife Monietta Shaw Carter split after some drama over his threesome fantasies. Monietta, who you might know from Real Housewives of Atlanta, spilled the beans last year. She said they used to bring other people into the bedroom as part of their thing. At first, she was cool with it, but then Nayo wanted threesomes all the time. She put it like this, we cheated together if that makes sense, and then it just wasn't enough, and I was like, well no, I didn't sign up to do this every day. Okay. So yeah, we cheated together if that makes sense, and then it just wasn't enough, and I was like, well no, I didn't sign up to Where do this every day. we cheated, so you cheated. No baby, I mean, you know, like, we did things together. So, not, it's not cheating if you're involved. 
Since his divorce, the 44-year-old has been pretty open about living a polygamous life, often seen hanging out with multiple women at once.